Someone can check if uh, if the stream is good. Before we start. Yeah, I try to wait. Oh shit, let me jump check. Give me a second. So I can it pops up as a notification. Good. It's good. It's good. Is it good? Hey, it's were good. you able to download the live stream from yesterday already? By the way, Garsham? Uh, didn't try yet. Haven't tried it. Okay. Anyway, hey, let's start off. Before we go, we want to give all praise and glory and the highest honor to Yahweh Basham Yahushai Basham Double honors to the other apostles of Great Millstone. Peace and salutations to the elect out there that are spreading this word and sincerity and the truth all over the four corners of the earth. Baba Kashaf to the brothers and sisters on the comment board. If the sound is a bit messed up, let me know. I'm in my I'm in my car, I'm driving as you see. And um, my car kit ain't all that. You know what I'm saying? So please let me know. So uh that's <laughs> what can you uh Good. can you read the title of the video, Baba Kashaf? Good. Um, times, what if Israelites would be in their own land? What if Israelites would be in their own land? Okay, mm. now this is the topic that we wanted to go into actually last Saturday. Me and the brother caught this up. We wanted to go into this topic. But mm -hmm. hey, through the spirit, we went a little bit into something else. So I didn't really touch on the points that I wanted to touch on. Mm -hmm. But it's, so, it's all good. You was there too? Mm -hmm. Oh no, you wasn't there. Gosh, I'm no, not the other camp. Yeah, place. man. So, so, um, what the brother pointed out before we started camp, it was like um, that there was an attack again in Israel between these Israelis and Palestinians. Mm -hmm. Okay, now you have to understand that while we're making this video, we have to be cautious again. See the time that we are in because Esau Edom so-called white man, he takes down videos nowadays because of you saying uh, Israeli and, you know, fake, mm -hmm. you know what. So, hey, it is what it is, so we have to watch out on how we um, how we say certain things. But the uh, Yara Tata will be good. So, really what I want to start off with is, um, let me see, let's start off with um, Ezekiel chapter 7. And I think uh, start off with verse um, 20. 20? Mm -hmm. Yeah. Gone. This is uh, Ezekiel chapter 7, verse 20. As for the beauty of his ornaments, he is said in majesty, but they made the image of their abominations and of the detestable things therein. Therefore, have I said it far from them? Yeah. So what is this referring to? It is referring to the land of Israel. That is the beauty of his ornament. Now, if you look at the um, thumbnail that I have set up, it is not the, it, it is not even beautiful no more, man. Because if you look at the thumbnail, you see a fucking desert city. You only basically you so you only see one skin tone, which is like desert color. Believe it, believe me, man. Israel did not look like that. There is a mm -hmm. reason that the region of Israel is being referred to as the Fertile Crescent. The Fertile Crescent. Okay? Because some parts in Israel are still very, um, have a very uh, nutritious ground, soil. But the scriptures refer to Israel as, as being a land that flows with milk and honey, meaning yeah. the resources are mm -hmm. very high. Okay? The soil is very great. Okay? Great and powerful. Uh, very rich, but nowadays it's a fucking desert, man. Now, this is the scripture that is going to explain you why it is a desert up to this day, man. Okay, so the beauty of his ornaments, which is the land of Israel, where he has placed us, the land of Canaan, has been set far from us. Why? Because we made our detestable things in it. Okay, now, what are those, those detestable things? Idol worshiping. Mm -hmm. Sacrificing our sons. Okay? That is something that Jake used to do, man. Like the scripture says, they make 
their children to be passed through the fire. Mm-hmm. That is child sacrifice, man. Which, um, that is the thing that the Northern tribes continue to do when they went into the land of America. They continue that child sacrifice, man. To the moon, mm-hmm. to the sun god, okay, to the, to the rain god, sacrificing their children, man. And now you have Esau Edom mm-hmm. coming out with new technology, which is called LIDAR, mm-hmm. where with, um, they scan the whole area of um, ancient temples. It's basically, it's basically infrared image, where with they can um, take away all the trees from the from the from the image, mm-hmm. and then they see the height of the of the ground. So when there's um, different uh, when it di- differentiates in height, for example, there are temples or ruins or or walls, then Esau can see it. So they went there. They went to uh, Guatemala, Guatemala and uh, Orunda. Uh, uh, I'll call that again. I forgot the name, but uh, Lower Mexico, Guatemala. Mm. Uh, what is the other name? Orunda. Mm-hmm. I'm butchering it anyway. Mm-hmm. They went there and then they mm-hmm. went into these caves underground. They went into these underground caves that the Maya referred to as, you know, going into the underworld. And, um, but that's, that's probably the interpretation of Esau because we refer to um, the grave or pit as Sha'awal also, which Sha'awal is being used in a, in a sense of being hell, the underworld nowadays, which Sha'awal just means fit or grace. So I could understand that those Issacharites was referring to those caves, those underground caves also as, as hell, but not necessarily a spiritual, a spiritual portal or whatever. But anyway, what do they find there? A lot of A lot mm-hmm. of skulls of children. Then they had this. Um, then they had this. Um, this pit. This pit of um, a water pit, but probably the water pit was dry because it didn't rain for a long time. What did they do? They sacrificed the team. They sacrificed the team, the Issacharite team, and you know, unto their God. So those were things that Jake was doing while they was in Israel, and out of Israel, you know, it continued. Okay? Worshipping of idols. And and uh, the northern tribes were the first ones to start start with that. Okay, because mm-hmm. they took those customs from the Hamites, the Canaanites. Come. Read on. <clears throat> I'm going to go to you concerning that. Shalom to all the Akiyam that are tuning in. Um, I have a quick question for you for the uh, child sacrifices, if you want it. Yeah. Um, this is Psalms 106 and verse 34. And it says, They did not destroy the nations concerning whom Yahweh commanded them, but were mingled among the, among the heathen and learned their works. Verse 36, and they yeah, serve the- so, mm-hmm. That's right. So where do these uh, traditions and where do, do these ways come from? They come from these Amites, man. These Canaanites. Oh. Okay, why do I say Amites, Canaanites? Because Canaan is the son of Ham. God. So Canaanites are still Hamites. Yeah. You don't? Verse um, 36, and they serve the idols which were a snare unto them. Come verse 37. Verse 37. Yea, they sacrifice their sons and their daughters unto devils. Come. Yeah, man, unto entities, unto spirits. Mm-hmm. Because the thing is, these, these Canaanites, they was worshipping entities. So, because they they could see the, 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 the things happen and the strength and the power that they received through mm-hmm. the worshipping of these, uh, of these entities, they started to do it too. Okay, so nowadays you have that same thing going on, you know, in South America. Jake be worshipping entities and spirits because it, it has somewhat of an effect, okay? 
become. They are they become uh, invisible unto a certain uh, degree. Okay, yeah. as long as they worship this entity, they are invisible. Okay, they cannot be shot. Or when someone is trying to shoot them, when someone is trying to shoot them, the gun starts jamming and shit. Okay, these are the things that uh, uh, that they can receive through the worshiping of these entities. So Jake started doing that. And into, you know how Jake is always very forward in, in something? They, um, mm -hmm. they sacrifice their children also, man. That's what Jake did. Read on. Verse 38. And shed innocent blood, even the blood of their sons and of their daughters, whom they sacrificed unto the idols of Canaan, and the land was polluted with blood. Yeah, man. Because blood is the father of the land, man. So the heavenly father placed us in, in the land of Israel, in the beauty of his ornament. But because of these things, the heavenly father has that it's far from us, man. Be like, oh. hey, get out of this land. Y'all not worthy to, to dwell in this land, man. Because y'all have, have y'all have become like the the, the the abominable inhabitants of the land that I want you to oh. slaughter and get out of there, man. Mm -hmm. oh. I got uh, Leviticus 18, if you want that. Spewing out us. You know, spewing us out from the land. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, you want me to, yeah. uh, um, let me start at, the, at this. This is Leviticus chapter 18, uh, verse 3. After the doings of the land of Egypt, wherein ye dwelt, shall ye not do. And after the doings of the land of Canaan, which I bring you, shall ye not do. Neither shall ye walk in the ordinances. Mm -hmm. Yeah, man, so, that was the straight, so that was the straight commandment of the Heavenly Father. Don't walk mm -hmm. after the ways of these Canaanites. Don't do after their mannerisms. Because this is why y'all are, uh, you know, allowed to inhabit this land. And also mm -hmm. because of, first and foremost, of course, because of the promise that is given unto Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob, unto him will I give the land of Canaan for an everlasting... What? Yeah, where? Uh, Psalms 105? Um, I also have the... Um... Exodus 33. So grab the Psalms 105. Um, I Starting with verse 6. Verse 6? Wow. Um, this is the book of Psalms, chapter 105, from verse 6. O ye seed of Abram, his servant, ye children of Jacob, his chosen. He is the Lord, our power. His judgments are in all the earth. He has remembered his covenant forever, the word which he commanded to a thousand generations, which covenant he made with Abram and his oath unto Isaac, and confirmed the same unto Jacob for a law, and to Israel for an everlasting covenant. Verse 11, saying, Unto thee will I give the land of Canaan, the lot of your inheritance. It is the lot of our inhabitants. Like the lot of our inhabitants. Inheritance. Mm -hmm. Like the lot of our inheritance. Yeah, man. So that is the promise, man. So because of the promise, these Canaanites had to get out of the land, and they had, they had to be judged for their for their uh, abominations, man, and their mm -hmm. abominable, yeah. filthy ways. But guess what? We took over those abominable and filthy ways. So the heavenly Father was like, get them out of the land. Come. First, first, um, first Israel, and then her sister Judah also, like it says in Jeremiah chapter three. Come. You can grab that real quick, Jeremiah three. Mm. Can I read the Leviticus uh, concerning spewing out the land? Yeah, you can read that before you uh, read the other one. Gone. So this is uh, Leviticus chapter eighteen. Um, Starting off at verse, verse 26. Ye shall therefore keep my statutes and my judgments, and shall not commit any of these abominations, neither any of your own nation, nor any stranger that should journeth among you. For all these abominations have the man of the land done, which are before you, and the land is defiled. That the land, land should not do. 
Go on. Yeah, go on. Go on. That the land spewed not you out also when you defied it, as it spewed out the nations that were before you. For exactly. whosoever shall come. Yeah. Read on. Don't stop me up with my ad lib. I just put some oh. ad lib. Come. Exactly. Come. Yeah. <laughs> right. Don't stop because, but I think because of the car kit, it it uh, it delays a little bit. Go on, go on, go on. For whosoever shall commit any of these abominations, even the souls that commit them shall be cut off from among their people. Therefore, See, so the point is, people. so the point is, if you if we went after the uh, customs of these people that get kicked out of the land by the land. You know, mm -hmm. they get devoured, they get they they are not able to live decently in the land because of their filthy ways, man. Okay. Mm -hmm. So our people copied the same ways. So the Heavenly Father was like, Hey, get them out of the land too. You see? So go back to mm -hmm. Ezekiel. No, mm -hmm. read Jeremiah first. Read what we have? Huh? Three Which and three, yeah. I think uh, three and fourteen, maybe. Or this three is, and uh, seven. Uh, it says thy sister Judah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. This is uh, Jeremiah mm -hmm. chapter three. Um let me start at verse six. Mm -hmm. The Lord Jehovah said also yeah. unto me in the days of Josiah the king, Hast thou seen? that which backsliding Israel has done. She's gone up upon every high mountain and under every green tree and there had, had played the harlot. Mm -hmm. <clears throat> and I said, after she had done all these things, turned her unto me, but she returned not and her treacherous sister Judah saw it. Mm -hmm. And I saw when for all the uh, uh, causes whereby backsliding Israel committed adultery, I, I had her put, I had put her away, and given her a bit of divorce. Yet her treacherous sister Judah feared not, but went and played the hearted also. Mm. You know? Mm. Yeah, when it man. came to pass. So, so, yes. Yeah. So Israel played the harlot. She committed adultery with, with all these idols, all these abominable uh, images and entities. They, she committed adultery because spiritually we are married unto Yahweh Shemuel Shai. So Israel committed all these, these whoredoms and got kicked out of the land. Pursuing to uh, 2 Kings chapter 17, starting with verse 32. You don't have to grab it. <laughs> I uh, have and it. then Judah. And then Judah. Judah saw it. The Judah is the, north, the southern kingdom. Judah Benjamin Levi. And then they also started committing all these whoredoms. While they had, while they had um, Israel for an example already, man. They already yeah, man. had Israel for an example and they still did it. But these are the things where for Jake had to get out of the land, man. The most of us like, no, no, no. I will not allow you to defile this land any longer, man. Okay, so go back to Ezekiel. Um... Dropped it, so like, yeah. And it also concerning that the Heavenly Father saw a husband. You want it? Yeah, read it real quick. It's Isaiah chapter 54, verse 5. For a maker is the husband. Yahweh, the Lord of hosts, is his name. And by the Redeemer, the Holy One of Israel, the power of the whole earth shall be called. Yeah, you see, so the Heavenly Father is our husband. We were married unto the Heavenly Father, but we, we committed a uh, we committed adultery. So the most I said I will put you away. And now we are we are being adopted back. We are coming back to the marriage of the of the Lamb. We we are returned unto the Lord Yahweh. Okay, which that is is what's happening right now. Okay, so go back to Ezekiel. Uh what chapter was it? it dropped the Seven twenty. Seven or twenty. Yeah, you're twenty. On, this is uh, back in Ezekiel chapter seven, uh, and um, verse twenty-one. And I will give it into the hands of the strangers for a prey, 
and to the wicked of the earth for spoil, and they shall pollute it. To the wicked yeah. of the earth. The land of Israel yeah, is given know. unto the wicked of the earth. So who is that? Who is that? According to Malachi chapter 1 verse 4, the wicked of the earth is Esau Edom. Man. Okay, God, so yeah. the land is given unto Esau Edom right now. Amalek. Which God. is Amalek. Which are these so-called Jews. Okay? Which mm -hmm. if we speak too much about that, the video will be pulled down. Man. Yeah. So we're going to bring it as, as slick as possible. You know, and as wise as possible. Because, uh, yeah, we, we still want these scriptures to come out, man. So, mm -hmm. the land is given into their hand right now. Which already shows you that that is still the case. But they claim it's not the case. They claim that the Israelites have been returned onto their place. Which we are about to prove that if that was the case, that's why the title of the video says, what if Israel is placed, what if Israel would be uh, back in its own land? Mm -hmm. What if the Israelites would be back in their own land? If that would be the case, a lot of, a lot of other things would have to happen now. Okay? okay? Mm -hmm. They don't want to talk about that. It shows you that mm -hmm. it's not the case. Okay? Can we read on? Verse, uh, verse 22. My face will have turned also from them and they should pollute my secret place. For the robbers shall enter into it and defile it. Yeah, the robbers are going to enter into it, which are also these um, Ishmaelites, man. These mm -hmm. Ishmaelites that call themselves Palestinians. If you look up Palestine, it says Philistines, man. The, Pal the Palestinians are referring to the Philistines, okay? But they act like, you know, it's, it's a... It's a it's a nation. It's a whole different nation. No, it refers to the Philistines. Which, they don't look like Philistines to me, man. You see? Because they are not. These are just a bunch of Emma. These are just a bunch of Israelites that come to claim that land also, man. Mm -hmm. And meanwhile, the original inhabitants of the land have been pushed down uh, into East Africa. Mm -hmm. the, land, uh, the, the people from Kenya, the people from Kush, which lived in Samaria, okay? You have the, the Sudanese people. They, uh, they um, had a part. Of course, they ruled, um, they ruled um, mm -hmm. Egypt mm -hmm. under a Mark You see? But a lot of these uh, uh, Canaanite nations went into East Africa because they were driven out of the land also. When these Romans came in, when these mm -hmm. Greeks came in, okay? But guess what? They, they they shouldn't have been in the land in the first place, man. Because we had to drive all of them out. We had to slaughter all of them. But we didn't do it. You see? Read on. No, man. Verse 23. Make a chain, for the land is full of bloody crimes. The city is full of violence. Mm. So the bloody crimes, we just read about the bloody crimes, man. Sacrificing your children unto the devil, man. That's a bloody crime, man. That's why the mm. Heavenly Father said, y'all defiled the land, man. What the fuck are y'all doing, man? Sacrificing your own children unto, unto entities, demons. Jake something else, man. Go on. Verse 24. Wherefore, I will bring the words of the heathen, and they shall possess their houses. I will also make the pomp of the strong to cease, and their holy places shall be defiled. Yeah, man, the pomp of the strong to cease, which the pomp goes into the pride. So that pride, that, that spirit like nobody can touch us, that the Israelites had, was going was gonna to be destroyed. Why, why would it be destroyed? Because the words of the heathen would come. The words of mm -hmm. the heathen... Okay, and um, Esau Eden would do it, which they are the basis of men. Yeah. Now, if the lowest nation of, of the planet Earth takes takes you down as a proud, proud ass Jake, you're gonna lose it, man. Mm -hmm. A prideful Jake gets taken down. Listen, the bully of the school gets beat up by the by the nerd, man. That's mm -hmm. how it felt unto Jake. The bully of the school gets beat up by the, by the nurse with the glasses, 
snot running out of his nose all the time. Bunch of acne in his face. If the bully gets beaten up by him, man, that's a shameful thing, man. Which that happened unto us. Which is a shameful thing, too. Yo, man. Go on. Verse 25. Destruction cometh, and they shall seek peace, and there shall be none. Miss. Yeah. Reading on? Yeah, that was it. Okay. So, this is what happened, man. We were kicked out of the land through slavery. We had to flee from Roman persecution. Mm -hmm. So, we are not in the land anymore. Okay, and there's historical evidence of it, of this. And there's also scriptural evidence of this because the Lord Jehoshua referred to us fleeing into the mountains, you know, because of Roman persecution. So, mm. Of course, these Amalekites, they twist and turn everything with it, whoever they want. But now we are going to touch the scriptures that prove unto you that they they are not the real, real Israelites, man. Mm -hmm. They are not the real Israelites. Okay, they, they call themselves Israeli, which means an inhabitant of the land. Okay, mm -hmm. but the Israelites, the word ice goes into people. So the people of Israel, Israel referring to the man whose name was first Jacob. Yaikwap in the Hebrew. Okay? Mm -hmm. But they don't refer to themselves like that. Why is that? Because they damn well know themselves who they are, man. Of course, the generation that comes up after them might not know it because they just get taught a certain culture. But hey, the hell with that, man. So give me, um, give me, um, Ezekiel, sure, Ezekiel chapter 36, where it says, I think verse 14, where it says, I will spring clean water upon thee. Um, that's uh, around <laughs> for 24, 25. Yeah, I thought I thought twenty four. I was like fourteen. Now I think it's twenty four. Yeah, man. Um, yeah, it's twenty five. Yeah. Um, you want you want it straight to the point, or you want uh, uh that the most is gonna take us back, bring us back in the land? Yeah. Yeah. Gone. Gone. This is Ezekiel chapter thirty six and um, verse uh, verse twenty one. But I had pity for my holy names for my holy name. With which the house of Israel had profaned among the heathen, whither they went. Therefore, say unto the house of Israel, Thus said the Lord Jehovah Power, I do this not for your sakes, O house of Israel, but for mine holy name's sake, which ye have profaned among the heathen, whither ye went. And I will sanctify my great name, which was profaned among the heathen, which ye have profaned in the midst of them. And the heathen shall know that I am the Lord Jehovah, said the Lord Jehovah Power, when I shall sanctify yeah. in you before their eyes. Yeah. Hmm. When the Lord is going to be sanctified in us before the eyes of the heathen. Give me that in um, Psalms, Psalms 98, verse 1 or 2. I think verse 2. But start at 1. Psalms 98, verse 1. Yeah. And this Psalms 98, verse 1. O sing unto Yahweh a new song. For he has done marvelous things. His right hand and his holy arm has gotten him the victory. Verse 2. The Lord has made known his salvation. His righteousness has he openly shown in the sight of the heathen. Yeah, man. His righteousness has he openly shown in the, in the sight of the heathen. Okay? Which this goes into what he did previously, but also what he's going to do. You know, in the near future, man. He's openly going to show his salvation to us, his children in the sight of the Eden. So that is the sanctification in us. Where uh, That is the sanctification of Yahweh in us, man. The Heavenly Father is showing these Eden, these nations, that we are his children. And that he is still, still there for us. Because it says in the book of Psalms, chapter 50. Uh, is it 50? Psalms 50 and 21, can you grab that? Yeah. 15 and 21? 50. Yeah. Psalms the 15 verse 21. And it says, These things hast thou done, and I kept silence. 
thou thoughtest that I was altogether such an one as thyself, but I will reprove thee and set them in order before thine eyes. <laughs> you see that? So the most is like, oh man, y'all really thought that I was like y'all, that I accepted all this wickedness that y'all be doing, man. Mm-hmm. You know, speaking towards the Esau Eden. Y'all really thought that I was altogether such a one as you. But guess what? I will reprove them. Ooh, he will reprove the Israelites, meaning correct them, show them the ways, show them how to walk and, 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 and bring back the heritage, uh, in, uh, the heritage unto them and set them in order before thy faith. But that is what's happening right now. We are being set in order before the faith of these heathens, man. And they don't like it, man. They don't like it. Exactly. But guess what? It has to happen, man. It has to happen before we come into the land of Israel by a glorious salvation, man, by a glorious deliverance out of the land being beamed up by so-called UFOs, chariots of the Lord, and in that form and in that manner, we are going to be placed back into the land of Israel, man. Not by way of traveling, not by way of taking the plane, setting up a society over there amongst these these, uh, Amalekites, man. We ain't going to do that shit, man. The Heavenly Father has said it by prophecy, so why would we interrupt this prophecy? We are not going to do that. Go on. You go back to Ezekiel. Go on. This is uh, verse 24. Uh, so like, uh, Ezekiel chapter 36, verse 24. For I will take you from among the heathen and gather you out of all countries and will bring you into your own land. Then will I sprinkle clean water upon you and and ye shall be clean from all your filthiness and from all your idols will I cleanse you. Exactly. So, now this is the point of the whole lesson. Now we're going into it. So, it says, I will bring you back into your own land. Where these people that are in the land right now claim that they have been placed back in their own land. Which uh-huh. is negative because they are not the inhabitants of the land. They are now the inhabitants of the the land, but not the original ones, okay, that that have to be there. That's why they're fighting, man. The reason that they're fighting is because they both are not the original inhabitants, man. Okay, but the scripture says what? I will sprinkle clean water upon you and will cleanse you from all your idols. Now, you can look this up yourself. If you go on Google, it says that more than 50% of the inhabitants of these um, the Malachites are um, atheistic, atheistic Jews. If you look up athe- what an atheistic Jew is, it's a, it's a, it's a Malachite that does not believe, but keeps the Jewish customs for cultural reasons. Just like how a lot of these Edomites over here in Holland, they don't believe it. They are not Christians. They are not real Christians. See? But they do celebrate. Um, they do celebrate um, Easter. They do celebrate um, Christmas and all these things in a in a Christian in a Christian form. But really, they just do it for cultural reasons, man. Because they come together with their family and stuff like that. That's why they do it. They don't do it because they believe. Yeah. So. Read on. Read that again. <clears throat> Verse 25. Then would I sprinkle clean water upon you, and ye shall be clean from all your filthiness, and from all your idols will I cleanse you. Yeah. Read on. A new heart also will I give you, and a new spirit will I put within you, and I will take away the stone your heart out of your flesh, and I will give you a heart of flesh. You see that? I will take away the stony heart from your flesh. And I will give you a heart of flesh. Which that heart of flesh is going to make you to keep the commandments 100%. But they ain't doing that either. Yeah. Another another point, man. They ain't, they ain't keeping the commandments, man. They yeah, have man. something called social pig. Social pig. Yeah. What you talking about, man? Yeah. Which that kosher is, is, a, is a bugged out thing too. Because kosher, they say kosher means 
not to um, not to mi uh, mix with um, diet, you no, know, with um, diary uh, diary things. Not to mix mm. food with diary things, yeah. which they refer to as um, they refer to um, to the scripture where it says, "Thou shalt not call them, thou shalt not yeah. call them a kid in his mother's milk." Mm. Yeah. You know that. That is what it, uh, what it refers to, but that's not what they what they bring out as kosher nowadays, man. Yeah. Nowadays they also. say you cannot mix you cannot mix diary things with with your food, with your with your meat. Diary mm. has to uh, has to be separated. But the scripture says nothing about that. If you look at the word kosher, it says into it says um, that it goes into um, clean and unclean things. Which that is just the, the dietary law of Israel, man. Thou mm. shalt not eat the swine, because he is unclean. Thou shalt not eat the hare. Thou shalt not eat the pony. Okay? You shall at all times eat those beasts that chew the cut and, and, and divide the hoof. Mm. Okay? But they yeah. flipped around a lot of things. Now they also said um, there is... Um, Kosher weed. Kosher weed. Come on, man. So clearly, those people, if they was the real people of Israel, then why are why are they still doing all these abominations? Why is mm -hmm. the biggest gay parade in that land? Mm -hmm. With the Lord is against that, man. The Lord is against homosexuality. We don't. Can I just first uh, ask you a point concerning, to, uh, concerning the kosher? Because I looked yeah. it up in the etymology and it says confirming the requirement of the Talmud. This word kosher means also. So it's according to the Talmud, according to the, the to the rules of the Talmud, which is not a part of the scripture. Yeah. Exactly. Exactly. Yeah, yeah man. Mm -hmm. Gone. Verse 27. And I will put my spirit spirit within you and cause you to walk in my statutes and ye shall keep my judgments and do them. Okay, so are they doing that? Are they doing that <laughs> if they are eating kosher pig? Are they doing no, that no. if they have, um, you know, they, the Tel Aviv um, gay parade, the biggest, the biggest one of the whole world? Are they walking <laughs> in the way of the Heavenly Father? I don't think so, man. No, no. But the scripture says... If a man so lay with mankind as he lays with a woman, both shall be put to death because they are, not, are an abomination of the Lord. So if they were the real, the real Israelites, man, they wouldn't do these uh, ab abominable things, man. They wouldn't mm -hmm. do these things. You see? Yeah. Mm -hmm. Verse 28, and ye shall dwell in the land that I gave to your fathers, and ye shall be my people, and I will be your power. That's right. Ye shall be my people, and I will be your power. But they mm. they, they, they pray to Hashem now. Hashem. Or they are atheists. Mm -hmm. So clearly they are not walking in the ways of the Heavenly Father. They have not been brought by the Heavenly Father into the land. Mm -hmm. They are not sprinkled with clean water. No, no. Plus, there is no state, there is no peace in the land. Which the scripture says yeah. that there has to be peace. Man. Give me that yeah. in uh, Jeremiah 32 yeah, and 37. I got it. This Jeremiah to the 32 and 37. Behold, I will gather them out of all countries. Would I have driven them in my anger and in my fury? And in my great wrath, and I will bring them again unto this place, and will, and I will cause them to dwell safely. Israelites are gathered together and brought by the holy arm of the heavenly Father into the land of Israel again. They are going to dwell safely. Now, last week there was an attack again. There was an attack, or how you call this thing? There, some shit happened between these Palestinians and. Uh, and it's Amalekites yeah. again, man. Yeah, clash. So that's yeah. that a clash again. So that is not dwelling safely, man. Plus, mm -hmm. they have big-ass walls around 
the land of uh, uh, around the city of the, Jerusalem. Mm-hmm. They had big ass walls, man. Yeah. Kind of so, uh, if, you grab, yeah. if you grab Isaiah 60, mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Cool. so Isaiah chapter 60, and it was started 11, right? Yeah. Oh, sure. okay. Okay, verse 11. Um, Isaiah 16 and 11. Therefore the gates shall be opened continually. They shall not be shut day nor night, that men may bring unto thee the forces of the Gentiles, and that their kings may be brought. You see that? So mm-hmm. the gates shall be opened continually. If they would do that over there in Jerusalem, open to keep the gates open continually, all these Palestinians would walk in, man. Mm-hmm. But no, what do they have? They have garrisons. They have watchtowers set up across the the, the, the wall that is at Jerusalem, man. They be gunning down Palestinians left and right, man. There's barbed wire across the, the border, man. Barbed wire. That doesn't sound to peace and safety to me. That doesn't mm-hmm. sound like um, that the gates are open. Man, that, that's Beyond shut down, man. That whole place is shut down, man. Because why? There's war. Mm. You see? There's war. Which, when the children come into the land of Israel, there shouldn't be no war anymore, man. Certainly, man. I have that for you if you want that. What you got, Isaiah 14? Uh, Micah chapter 4. Okay, give me that Micah. And also grab Isaiah 14. Um, this is um, Micah chapter 4 verse 1 but in the last days it shall come to pass that the mountain of the house of the Lord Jehovah shall be established in the top of the mountains and it shall be exalted above the hills and people shall flow unto it yeah what does the mountain of the Lord mean represent the elect is going to be established and it's going to be the top governing body of the land of Israel and of the nation of Israel. Read on. on. Verse 2. And many nations shall come and say, Come and let us go up to the mountain of the Lord Jehovah and to the house, the power of Jacob, and he will teach us of his ways and we will walk in his paths. For the law yeah, shall man, go so forth. We, in so we are going to nations. We are going to teach these heathens how to worship Yahweh Basham Yahshai. Yeah, We're going to show them how, how it is to worship the true power instead of their own idols, instead of their own their own ways, their own religion. They ain't going to do that mm-hmm. no more, man. Because the law shall come forth out of what? Read it. <clears throat> For the law shall go forth of Zion and the word of the Lord Jehovah from Jerusalem. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Break it down. So basically, when in you know when Yahweh comes back, you know that means that we're going to be the, the the ruling class upon the earth. You know, when at that time the law, you know, the law from Yahweh Bashem Yahweh Shai, you know, is the law that's going to be established upon the earth, meaning that we're going to teach this, these other nations. How to keep the last stage commandments of Yahweh Bashem Yahweh Shai? You know. Exactly. These heathens ain't gonna pull their 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 law books no more, man. Yeah. When when they go to court, that shit ain't gonna happen no more. Man. No. Fuck out of here, man. Listen, man. You commit a sin worthy unto death, you will be put Boom. to death, man. Yeah. You see? Mm-hmm. That is gonna go to be because the scripture says in um. What is it? The book of Esther, chapter 14 or 15? I, I'm going to grab it, it for you. I know what you mean. The Eden said that we had the most just law. Yeah. yeah. It's Esther, chapter 16, verse, uh, verse 15. But we find that the Jews, whom this wicked wretch hath delivered to utter destruction, are no evildoers, but live by most just laws. Yeah. You see that? So the Eden even said, man, these. Israelites, they live by most just laws, man. 
There are no evil doers. There are no evil doers, man. You see? Huh. So these just laws are going to come back where we are living in the land of Israel again. Okay? Mm -hmm. And everyone is going to have to obey those laws. Yeah, Go back to Micah. This is Micah chapter 4 and uh, verse 3. And he is a judge among many people and rebuke strong nations afar off. And they shall beat their swords into plowshares and their spears into prodding hooks. Nation shall not lift up a sword against nation. Neither shall they learn war anymore. Yeah. Exactly. So not only is the nation of Israel going to uh, dwell at, uh, at peace and dwell safely, no nation is going to go to war with each other anymore, man. Mm -hmm. That is when the, when, the, when the children of Israel are back into the land. That is what's going to happen, man. That is what's mm -hmm. going to be established. Worldwide peace. Worldwide peace, man. Nations are not going to fight against each other no more. But guess Second. what? There's going to be a thousand years of terror upon these heathens because of us. Yep. We're going to terrorize them, man, for all the things that they have done. Okay? All the yep. things that happened throughout history, a thousand years, that they're going to be plagued and terrorized by us, man. Just like how we have been plagued and terrorized by them. You see? Yep. Mm -hmm. That is going yeah. to be that revenge. That is going to be that righteous judgment that is going to come back upon their own hands, man. But mm -hmm. there will be world peace. World peace. Is there world peace right now? No, there is not. There's chaos, man. World War III is about to pop off. Now, how can these Amalekites say that they are the real Jews? They are not. They do lie. Perfect time to, to bring out that scripture. Okay. Um, I got it. It's Revelation chapter 3 and verse 9. And it says, Behold, I will make them of the synagogue of Satan, which say they are Jews and are not, but do lie. Behold, I will make them to come and worship before their feet and to know that I have loved thee. Exactly. Now, uh, uh, an Israelite is not supposed to bow down to another Israelite, man. Yeah. Okay, that believes in Yahweh Hashem Yashai. So, and as in itself, no Israelite is supposed to bow down to another Israelite unless you bow down to the king. Or unless you bow down in a, as a form of respect, yeah. bow thine head unto great men. The scriptures speak about that. Okay, bow thy head just as, as a form of respect. Where do you think these Asian people have it from? Man? They bow yeah. their head. That's respect, man. That goes back to the Asian world. Mm -hmm. We used to do these things, but not bowing their head with the face to the ground as a form of servitude. Go, yeah. We're only going to do that until Yahweh, Shem Yahshai, and the kingsmen, the oh. ruling clan, the 12 apostles, King David, Yahweh Shai. Okay? It's all going to be oh. done in righteousness. So this is not talking yeah. about Israelites amongst each other. This is talking about people that say that they are Jews but are not, but to lie, mm -hmm. which goes into these Amalekites. They are not the real children of Israel. Okay. Um, Give me um, Isaiah 14. This is the Isaiah chapter 14 and verse 1. For the Lord Jehovah will have mercy on Jacob and will yet choose Israel and set them in their own land and the strangers shall be joined with them and they shall cleave to the house of Jacob. Yeah, who are the strangers? The strangers represent Israelites that are not in a in the in the mindset of an Israelite man, you have these um, university uh, people in America that think they did that, that follow these Greek ways, psi, mm -hmm. alpha, gamma, yeah man. Um, I don't even know all these names, man. But you know they go to a university and they follow these Greek ways. Mm -hmm. Then you have. Um, Jake in America following after Pan-Africanism, Egyptology, all that type of madness, man. So those are the strangers 
they are aliens unto the, the commonwealth of Israel up till this day. You see? So they are going to be joined unto the Israelites that know that they are Israelites, that go into the land with the mind of this is what happened in the ancient world. This is what happened in the, in the, in the old world. Now we are about to enter into the kingdom in righteousness and in peace. We are going to become one again. We don't. Verse 2. And the people shall take them and bring them to their place, and the house of Israel shall possess them in the land of the Lord Jehovah for servants and okay, handmaids. And the people shall take them, and the people shall take them, which the them refers to um, these heathens, those people, the strangers and the Israelites are going to take them, them heathens, and possess them in the land. So, are these Amalekites possessing, are they having slaves uh, uh, today? No. They are not, they are, are not having servants and handmaids in the land of Israel. They are damn servants themselves, man. They have a Sophie number. They are slaves to the state. They ain't got shit. Now, what's it? Are you on the conditions of uh, Satan is messing? Yeah, yeah. man. Literally, no, you Satan no, you was bet. calling. Satan, Satan was calling. <laughs> yeah. yeah, man. Crazy. But yeah, yeah. Uh, so, uh, um, just one point. So, okay, one point I want to make also because the, it says the Heavenly Father is going to set them in their, in, in their own land. But how did these Americans come into the land, to America? And that's the thing. So, we, we have to understand and see also that the Heavenly Father is going to do that, man. It won't be a our own power. They set themselves in this land, you know. But the Heavenly Father is going to set us in this land. Um, exactly. I have, that, I have that on the Belfort Declaration on deck if you want it. No, you don't have to read that. Um, no. Read um, Isaiah. That, uh, Isaiah. Yeah. Come back in Isaiah yeah, chapter we... 14, verse 2. Put some gas. Come on. And they mm. shall take them captives, whose captives they were, and they shall rule over their mm. oppressors. It's lucky. I, I, I said I have to put some gas, and uh, my phone is extremely hot, man. It's fucking mm. heating up. Yeah, so read that again. They shall rule over their oppressors. Con, uh, and they shall take them captives, whose captives they were, and they shall rule over their oppressors. You see that? They shall take them captives, whose captives they were, and they shall rule over their oppressors. That's what's going mm -hmm. to happen in the land of Israel. When we are back in the land of Israel, that's what's going to happen, man. You see? Gone. And um, yeah, they are not ruling over their oppressors nowadays, man. Yeah. Because they claim that, you know, these these Europeans, like these Germans, are their oppressors, right? Why aren't they yeah. ruling over them then? They ain't ruling over shit. Yeah, yeah we have yeah. been slaves too. Okay, unto whom y'all have been slaves, y'all supposed to have them in, in slavery yourself now, man. Pursuant mm -hmm. to the book of Isaiah. Okay, <laughs> read on. Verse 3, and it shall come to pass in the day that the Lord Jehovah shall give thee rest from thy sorrow and from thy fear and from the hard bondage wherein thou was made to serve. Yeah, man, so we're going we're gonna to get rest, man, from the hard bondage, from, from the slavery wherein we was made to serve, man. We are gonna, going to be at rest. They are not at rest, man. We no. don't. Uh, can I say something concerning verse uh, 3? Yeah. Because it speaks about that the Most High is going to give them rest from, from their fear. But the people in the land there right now, they should watch their head for for drums, bop, uh, for, for, for bombs dropping, you know, for, for bullets, you know, mm -hmm. not hitting, yeah. uh, hitting, hitting, hitting their walls, things like that right now. But that's not a point. Yeah, right? man. Yeah. yeah. Right. Exactly. Come so um, verse 4 uh, that thou shalt take up this proverb against the king of Babylon and say out the oppressor ceased the golden city ceased yeah man so yeah man that, that's it man a couple of points on how 
we are the children of Israel that are going to be placed in that land. And the people that are in that land right now, that they are not the children of Israel. Otherwise, you know, these prophecies have to uh, be fulfilled. And another oh. thing, the scripture says that Yahweh Shai is going to be the king when we are placed back into the land, man. Now, Yahweh Shai hasn't returned yet. So how is it possible that we, that they are the children of Israel? It's not possible, man. Yahweh Shai has to be there then. But guess what? A lot of these Amalekites, they don't believe in Yahushai. A lot of these Amalekites, they don't believe in the first place. Like I said, they are atheistic Jews, man. You see? Stupidity, man. So yeah, man, we just, we want to give all praises, glory, and the highest honor to Yahweh, Basham, Yahushai, Basham, Kadash, Basham, Kadash. Double honors to the elder apostle of Great Millstone. Peace and salutations to the elect out there to spreading the word of the city and the truth all over the four corners of the earth. Shalom. Shalom. Shalom.